Hello everybody, it's your boy Friday Producer And today I'm going to show you guys a uh, shout out to Bustle Beats He recommended I do this video Just on pretty much how to create a template For recording rap vocals or sing vocals, R&B vocals, whatever you want to call it With NFL Studio I'm clipping, let me just turn my gain down I like digital gain a lot more than analog gain, I don't have a great preamp so you know Anyway, first thing you want to do is You want to set up your recording channel obviously what I like to do is I like to set my preamp. So my preamp is currently set to about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock on the knob. And then I add a bit of digital gain because what happens is if I added the extra 10, 11 decibels on the preamp, I would get a lot of clipping. So I'll actually do that for you right now so you can hear. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So it works a lot better for me to do that. So my first advice to you is to figure out what your best approach is with the you know stuff you have you know what i'm saying we don't all have like ssl consoles and stuff and if you're using fl i'm pretty sure you're not on the ssl unless you dj master but anyway <laughs> so once we got that out the way added our 11 decibels of digital gain you can add, use whatever plugin you want as long as it doesn't add latency the most important thing is that you don't have a lot of latency on your record channel uh, you just check out my other video if you do want to find out a lot more of the tech stuff. I've run through that in the last video. I just find that in playlist tutorials. And then you can see we've got this wave candy here, which is just telling me how much of a level we have here, which is for the noise gate. So we can see that right now we've got no noise at all. So that's great. I mean, listen to this. You know, it kind of sounds unnatural, but for YouTube's sake, it sounds a lot better. It doesn't sound nice when the noise gate goes like... <laughs> You know what I mean? You've probably heard that on a lot of other tutorials, but... Okay, so once we've done that, we are rooting towards our record bus channel. So, for my commentary sake, I'm going into this channel called YouTube and I'm just doing a lot of weird stuff, but don't worry too much about that. If we were to record into our vocal recording bus, this is what I would do. I've got a beat here that I'll play for you with vocals. And you can listen to that now, now but for now, Actually, let's do that while we... Uh, it'll be a lot quicker just to show you everything at once. Don't worry, uh, noise gate is set so minimally. Oh, I should have actually kept that where it was, but anyway. So as you can see, we've got basic EQ going, just getting rid of the nasty frequency, getting rid of the mud. Mud is any low end frequency that you would, um, you know, like if a truck drove past, it, the mic would pick that up. The mic picks up a lot more low end than high end. And we got this analog channel just to give it a bit more of a console feel, you know, because these new uh, pre preamps are a lot like uh, very digital, not very nice. They have like this, you know, digital hiss to them. Not hiss, but like a, a weird high end, you know what I mean? It, it sounds like this is happening, you know what I mean? To an extent. So that's cool. Let's listen to that. And I'll show you guys what else is going on here. So, I wanna fall, now she on the way over. I'm just waiting for a call, but I'm riding for my team. We all never need to start. Blowing on the 2D fruity taste of orange crush. Hop up out the clouds, panoramic flex. And I got the work like Kelly, we the best. Shooting in the gym like Kobe. Find me in the stars, I'm Obi. I don't play with these niggas, they nosy. But you can find me every day like Soapies. Cool. So, if you are listening on headphones or studio monitors, which you should be, don't listen on a laptop because all you're going to hear is treble. What's going on is we've got our main verse, which we recorded first. So that, that is the beef of our vocal, which is that channel up there, verse main. We have got our stereo left and stereo right. Those are panned hard left and hard right. Drop the devil. Because there's a panning law, I think, for every certain amount of degrees you go, you get three decibels of extra gain. So, you know, we drop the level. But you can do that to taste. It's up to you. Then we got our ablibs. Then we got our vocal double, which I call the source verse. And that's pretty much just a... It's a pan. I'll, I'll give you a link to this MDA pack. There's some nice plugins in there. And to this... I don't know what these are even called. These are the Modern Series Fire Chainer. But it's pretty much... It looks like a... 1176 or whatever. You can Google all those type of plugins. Where was I? Okay, cool. So 
I'll just play that once again from this perspective. Who wanna fall? Now she on the way over. I'm just waiting for a call, but I'm riding for my team. We all never need to start. Blowing on the tutti frutti, taste of orange crush. Hop up out the clouds, panoramic flex. And I've got the work like Kelly, we the best. Shooting in the gym like Kobe. So yeah, there you go. There's a little idea. Let me actually pan, uh, mute the main vocal so you can hear what's going on in the background. You did see that I raised the level. And what's going on there is I'm EQing out a lot of the beef of the vocal. A lot of the high end or mid high end, whatever you want to call that. Oh, high mid end, whatever. And then you get a nice kind of tamed sound on the left and right. You don't want to go too crazy on the left and right, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, that's cool. So that's our verse out the way. So we got four channels or five plus the, the double. And we can go to our hook and just listen to what I want you to pay attention to is the amount of more stereo width happening within the, the, the hook. Because that's really what you want to do. You want to kind of bottleneck from verse to chorus so you want your verse to kind of be a bit tight but still be fun you know what i'm saying you still want to have a bit of stereo width going on but then on the chorus you kind of want to go all out with all of those elements so let's take a listen to the transition niggas they nosy but you can find me every day like soapies i'm in the cut rolling doobies up i'm in the cut rolling doobies up you can find me in the stew i don't give a you can find me in the stew, I don't give a fuck I'm in the cut, rolling doobies up I'm in the cut, rolling doobies up You can find me in the stew, I don't give a You can find me in the stew, I don't give a fuck So yeah, you can hear there's a bit more stereo with not too much The thing is what you need to check when recording these kinds of things is uh, You don't want to go out of phase, so Hopefully if you have a mono switch on your interface, I do, I'm able to switch in between mono. But if you don't, this is what this knob is here for. So where my mouse is right now, that's a stereo separation knob. So when I throw it all the way into, into the right side, on the purple side, that means that sum. It means that the signal is now sum, meaning the signal is in mono. So we can hear the difference. We won't really hear any um, doubles on the left or right when we sum. So let's listen to the difference. Niggas they nosy, but you can find me every day like soapies. I'm in the cut, rolling doobies up. I'm in the cut, rolling doobies up. You can find me in the stew, I don't give a. You can find me. So, yeah, don't ever mess with this channel when exporting, just use this as a reference while mixing. And I kind of got away with it on this because you can still hear the reverb going on in this channel here, which is the vocal double. And that, so, I mean, most clubs are in mono, so you're not going to really hear all of the nice panned elements from the beat and everything in the club. And no one really cares for that anyway. But what they do care about is that things aren't vanishing in the song. So, for example, if you had an artist rapping and he had melodies on the left and right, you don't want those melodies vanishing. You know what I'm saying? Because that's taking away from the story of the song, if you hear what I'm saying. So... We'll just listen to that one more time with the chorus, just so you can hear one more time. I'm in the cut, rolling doobies up. I'm in the cut, rolling doobies up. You can find me in the stew, I don't give a. You can find me in the stew, I don't give a fuck. I'm in the cut, rolling doobies up. So you see, I'm not getting too much phasing going on there, which is great. That's how you're supposed to be mixing. I don't know what uh, what else there is to show you about that, man. Um, the most important thing uh, to copy this template is to make sure that you're getting your levels right on the input. You know what I'm saying? Because if your levels aren't right on the input, this template won't work. So you can copy, hopefully I've opened every plugin. You guys can copy everything here. I will leave a link in the description to these plugins that you don't have. Uh, they are free. I've tried not to use like wave plugins and stuff because a lot of you guys uh, aren't prepared to buy that stuff. But these are free. Uh, the MDA plugins are free, so you can use that little preamp trick that I've been using. Or you can use whatever VST you like. Maybe you got a UAD plugin, you know, and the latency is at zero. You can go ahead and use that. And yeah, man, I'll just let the beat ride out. Listen to my great recording and like, subscribe. 
if you do want to cop this template i will zip everything and send this to you for whatever price you want man just holler at me send me an email the email will be in the description i just thought of something and if you thought to yourself hey man uh my voice was a lot louder than everything else going on oh, i'm still clipping if your voice if my voice was a lot louder than everything else going on realize that i had dropped the level on the vocal bus and the beat bus so when you're recording you don't want to be recording while clipping or really recording into a limiter either i'm just recording into the limiter because i'm using edison to record uh, the audio out you know what i'm saying but i'll boost the volume here so you can boost the volume after you've done your recording but you know what's going on here is listen to the beat without the vocals and you'll see it's hitting minus six perfectly or minus five whatever so basically you just don't want to be recording with clipping so i just got to drop out so i'll just play the beat and lift the volume and you'll hear what it did sound like as a mastered record for example obviously not but you know what i mean she don't never wanna fall now she on the way over i'm just waiting for a call but i'm riding for my team we all never need to start blowing on the 2d fruity taste of orange crush hop up out the clouds panoramic flex and i got the work like Kelly, we the best shooting in the gym like kobe there you go guys i uh, hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something man like and subscribe and as i say signing out again <laughs> peace